Uh, when you think of rural America, this is a very typical community. Uh, our whole economy is based on agriculture. If the farmers are doing well, we're going to sell tractors, we're going to sell cars. People are going to remodel their homes, they're going to have more money for their kids to go to college. So we have to be very supportive of agriculture. Again tonight, uh, look at the signs out front. Uh, again, my opponent uh, supported by Defenders of Wildlife Action and, and their radical environmentalists. I still remember the day that I got a call from Lynn Fisher down from Lincoln County. When I taught school down there, I taught his daughter. After we moved up to Fort Morgan, we stacked his hay. Lynn called me. He's a disabled farmer now because he had a farm accident and his voice was very weak. And he said, Marilyn, we have got to get the CRP ground opened up to, uh, to grazing. He said the Jollies just sold three truckloads of cattle because they don't have any pasture anymore. Those people that have those signs out in front of this Fort Morgan High School tonight and their environmental allies got a judge in Seattle to shut down grazing on CRP land, and that affected Lincoln County, Colorado. There is no way that those kind of people support agriculture in any way. Again, I'm proud to be supported by the dairy farmers, the sugar beet growers, the wheat growers, and the corn growers. Because of my work on the farm bill, that was not easy work to do because people like those environmental folks that are supporting, extreme environmental folks that are supporting my opponent, don't want us to have a farm bill where farmers will have a safety net and agriculture will be able to go on in rural America. But I can assure you, when I go back to Congress, I will fight hard for our farmers and ranchers because we do not need to be dependent on foreign nations as we are now for our energy supplies, for our food supply. I'll stand strong for the farmers in the 4th District of Colorado. And Ms. Mark, are you up, up to four minutes? Yes. Congresswoman, I'd like to point out that this is exactly what's wrong with Washington, D.C. right now. You talk about the radical environmental groups. You know, you talk about Speaker Pelosi in a disparaging way. We've got big problems <laughs> facing this country. We have big problems facing this country, and it's not going to be solved by people who talk about the other side, who don't get along with one another, because we're going to have the same as we have always had, where nothing gets done. You know, 1962, President Kennedy came to Pueblo, and he, he came uh, to talk about the Frying Pan Arkansas Project, which was going to bring water to southeast Colorado. And what he said is, I preach the interdependence of the United States. We are not 50 countries. We are 50, one country of 50 states and one people. And I believe that those programs which make life better for some of our people will make life better for all of our people. A rising tide lifts all boats. There is wisdom in those words that seems to be completely lost in politics today. It must have been difficult for statesmen of another generation to look forward so boldly, to plan into the future, to state a constituents of another time. We're not going to be do, do this because of what we are, but because of what we can be. They understood something that we've forgotten, that if you want to do something big, you cannot be consumed by everything that is small. The politics of character assassination, the petty politics surrounding negative advertising. It's wrong and we're tired of it. We've got big problems facing this country and we've got to roll up our sleeves, recognize that good ideas are going to come from both sides. I think I'm running for the right reasons. To make a difference, to solve problems, to bring people together. For the last eight years, this administration and this Congress, including my opponent, have tried the other approach, pitting us against each other and pitting us against the rest of the world, using wedge social issues to divide Americans. I am for turning a new page. If elected, I pledge to work very hard. I will hold town hall meetings in all 18 counties of the 4th Congressional District. 
because only by coming back to your district, by looking people in the eye, even those ones who didn't vote for you, and saying, this is why I voted the way I did, only then, when you listen to people, not just talk, that you listen, will you know how to vote when you go back to Washington, D.C. I'm Betsy Markey, and I hope to earn your vote in three weeks on November 4th. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, this will, excuse me.